Well, hello and welcome back to Producer Dan. I'm Dan. So today we are going to uh, produce a song called Walking Contradiction. Uh, it's a great rock song written and performed by my very good friend Vicky Andres. Um, this is video number two of a series of videos that I'll do over time of me producing her songs. Also, uh, I hope to have Vicky on the channel soon uh, just to have a discussion about songwriting. I think it would be a nice video to do uh, to get her perspective as well uh, as I'll do so many of her songs on this channel. Now, uh, Vicky is a good friend of mine. We went to high school together. We were in a rock band together. Uh, along with the drummer Wade, who performs on this song as well. Uh, they have sent me uh, some audio tracks. I have a vocal track, a, a guitar track, and Wade's drum track. So these are raw tracks, and uh, but I have added a little bit of EQ and compression to her vocal, just to make it listenable uh, for this demonstration. So here we go. Center of attention. I have another side and let it shine tonight. There's no rhyme or reason why I thought it worth a mention. Yeah. So there you are. Um, the song is there. It's an amazing uh, song. So let's go into Pro Tools and I'll go over some of the production decisions, some of the arrangement decisions that I made to get the song to where it is now. Okay, and good day. Uh, here we are. So let's get into it. As you know, it started out with a guitar riff. Here's the uh, guitar riff here. I've called it VE. That's Vicky Electric Guitar. So I also have my guitar, Daniel Guitar. I was trying to come up with something interesting to do for the beginning. What was given to me is obviously the riff that starts the song, then the drums come in. And so I was looking around, I was looking at her vocal, was there something I could pull from the vocal to put in? Uh, and then I came up with um, the drums. Uh, the drums have kind of a fun little kicky sound to them. And uh, so I decided to cut a little piece of Wade's drum and stick that in, uh, in the beginning, just before he gives his uh, t tom roll and then the song starts. And this is what we came up with. <laughs> So I thought that was really fun. Uh, with Wade's drums, uh, he does the drums on his electric drum set. This is the second song that I've done um, of Vicky's uh, with Wade uh, adding his drums uh, to the track. And I love this sound of his uh, drum set, this electric drum set. I think it's great. I think it's a wonderful thing. Um, you know, a lot of people enjoy uh, spending the day miking a a drum set, getting that sound, it can be time consuming and rewarding probably at the end. I haven't never done it. Uh, I have the equipment if I if I do uh, down the road, if I ever do mic a drum set, but I never have. Um, and uh, I'm glad I don't have to mic a drum set is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Now, Vicky and I talked about what to do with the song. The song, Walking Contradiction, is a contradiction of uh, her personality being very shy and, and uh, introverted, but uh, she's also a rock musician, and when she takes the stage, when she sings, she's really belting it out, and um, so she herself is a walking contradiction. And, uh, and so that's what this song is about. And so uh, she did suggest that the core, the verses be kind of tight and uh, introverted in a way. And then the chorus is to be wide, to go wide and out there and just sail and soar. And that's what we did here. So um, let's just give a listen to that first verse. I'm shy. I don't know why. It's a strain to meet your eye. I'd rather shrink and hide to be the center of attention. I have another side, and I'll let it shine tonight. There's no rhyme or reason why I thought it worth a mention. Yeah. Day and night time. 
So there you are. Um, obviously, you heard the difference in the treatment of the course, uh, where everything goes wide. We've added a, I'm calling guitar bling, which is this track here. <laughs> So it's on the right and I have it delayed. The delay is offset, uh, heading left. So it goes bong, 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 bong. It's traveling back and forth, kind of widening that even more and giving the chorus that wide, long, sustained power. So that's an element I think that really helps there. Um, also, I love to double up her vocals, particularly in the choruses. It makes it bigger. So that's what we've done here in the chorus. I have also treated her verse vocal and her chorus vocal differently. I have them on different tracks. I have them treated differently as far as the uh, reverb and delay. This is her main vocal and this is the double. So I'll play those for you now. Day and night. Time, mood and tide, everything I feel and I am. So basically, I just treated them differently, made them wider, made that delay even more pronounced. But in the verses, I pull back, make it a little drier. Uh, I love to make the second part of the song, I guess we'll call it the second verse, but I like to make the second verse dance a little bit. And in this case, there is a tambourine. Uh, don't underestimate the tambourine. In the second verse, it just goes... And it really makes the second verse dance. I don't know how else to say it. Something else I've added, uh, I was looking for an element to add to this part of the song to make it different, to make it special, uh, to set it off from the first part. And I came up with this kind of weird cello sound. Again, I have it panned to the left this time, but I also have its delay heading right, so it goes bump, bump. It makes the second verse dance. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, I just love the lyrics to this song, and this verse is a, is a very good example. Listen to those lyrics again. I'm brave on occasion. I can paint someone courageous. Glad I don't a hero's game captain means it. I can say Chicken shit, what you see is what you get, depending on the day. Yeah. Isn't that great? <laughs> uh, I don't know if I've gone on enough about uh, her songwriting abilities, but um, when she's just developed her talent, uh, I don't know where it all comes from, but I really enjoy uh, producing her songs, coming up with ideas, making them. Uh, you know, finished, polished, and, uh, and, um, what's the word? Realized is the word, yes, so. Prediction, fine example of a walking contradiction, baby, yeah. So, that lead solo part, to me, it sounds very Eddie Money, 1980s. <laughs> I love it. I love that little, um, that little lead solo uh, that I put in. Uh, here's an example of, um, you know, an artist gives you their song to perhaps arrange and produce. And so the artist isn't always going to respond uh, to what you do because they have a preconceived notion of what, what the song is is and how they wrote it and what they have in their head and then uh in a situation like this when you've given it to someone they do stuff with and they get it give it back to you and they say what do you, you know what do you think uh, she was a little taken aback by the lead solo i don't think it was her favorite but she listened to it after a couple of days and uh it it became part of the song and she said no don't take it out it's it's uh it's uh, it's part of the song. I'll miss it if it's gone. So, but I was willing to take it out if if uh, if she said no, take that out. Uh, um, but um, that was a fun part of the song. Now this third chorus uh, is really something. We have everything going on, of course. My favorite thing to do: bring everything in on the 
on the third chorus. I have her main vocal and I have two doubles of her vocal. I love that. <laughs> I love her vocals. I mean, she just doesn't hold back. She's just amazing. I just love that. And um, I do like this treatment of taking, stealing from the first and second choruses. That That's what those are. She, she hasn't presented me with any doubles. I've just taken... Uh, scavenge material where I can get it. I grab from the first chorus, the second chorus, and paste them here. So you've got two voices doing the regular chorus melody, and then you have her um, uh, doing this ad lib uh, version of of the chorus melody. Here it is again. And of course, I've got the delays on everything, and so everything is bouncing and doubling. And um, but here it is in context. Um, one other thing I've done is I've also brought the lead, so the guitar solo, into this part as well. It uh, adds a third voice in, to this third chorus. And what I mean is, the first thing you hear in the third chorus is her regular melody, which are these two here. The second thing you hear is her main vocal doing the higher version of the chorus. And then this lead solo comes in as the third element. So it goes day, day, meow. Uh, I'll see if I can demonstrate that for you here. So it does a nice little dance. One one hits, second hits, and the third hit. So I'll play you that last uh, chorus now. So there it is. Um, now, again, in my production videos, um, I'm really not going to go into too much of the compression and, and EQ because that's, you know, everyone everyone uses EQ and compression to sculpt their own music in the way they all want to do it. And, um, uh, and there are much better videos on the internet <laughs> that would explain it uh, in detail. Um, and so that's not really what I really want to focus on. I like to focus on the arranging of the songs and, and that. But I, I certainly would bring in uh, information about my EQ decisions and my compression decisions if it were something special that really lent something special to the song. But one thing I, I like to do with my doubled vocals, sometimes I'll treat them differently. Uh, for example... This doubled vocal, see how I've just hacked off the high end? When you've got three vocals doing the same thing, the same person saying the same thing, shave off those high frequencies at the top because you don't want all those extra S's and S and K and it, it just let the main vocal do that. The doubles and the supports can be, can just do that support without adding this harshness, without adding extra sibilance and, and stuff. So uh, that's an example of uh, an EQ move that I would do. So I think that uh, does it for this uh, portion of the video. Um, 
This song is uh, available on iTunes and Spotify, Walking Contradiction by Vicky Andres. Uh, go ahead and add it to your music collection, stream it, and uh, add it to your playlist. I know it's on mine. Um, so I will play you out the song uh, to the end of the video. Uh, if you do like the video, if you do like this content as much as I enjoy uh, putting it out for you, uh, go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I put out videos once a week. So thank you very much for watching this video. Take care. Bye-bye.